वेलकम टू क्लास ऑफ प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप आई एम नितेश रेयानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज लेक्चर 1 इंट्रोडक्शन द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर्स इज टू लर्न द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन रिगार्डिंग प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप so if you look at it, your subject there are two parts product development and second is entrepreneurship so product development is uh, nothing but the creations innovations and enhance the utility in product that is known as the product development and entrepreneurship is the starting your business that is entrepreneurship so if you look at the teaching and examination uh, scheme Uh, as per the GTU, there are uh, three hours for the theory lectures and two hours for the practicals. And the total credit is uh, of this subject is four. And uh, you have to score maximum one fifty marks in this subject. Now, uh, product development and entrepreneurship content. Uh, the first content, or you can say the first chapter. of product development and entrepreneurship is the product development process so now you know so what is product development so what is product development so or process so product development process here i saw uh, one uh, product development process in which you can see that the idea generations or screening or in individual step to the launch that product in particular market so this all stage is uh, is known as the product development process uh, so in this lectures you have to learn the successful of uh, uh, you have to learn the characteristics of successful product development so when you buy any products you uh, think uh, regarding this uh, cost of this uh, that particular product quality of that product so based on these parameters the characteristics of successful product development uh, is uh, derived and you have to learn in these chapters also you have to learn the generic product development process so here there are many uh, product development process and uh, there are minor variations in uh, product development process and it is not necessary to uh follow the same product development process even uh, even any companies can follow the <coughs> different product development process for the different products so here uh, as according to the syllabus we have to learn the generic product development process also we have to learn the concept development uh, concept generation uh, selections of concept all these things we have to learn in these chapters so now as we here you can see that uh, in product development process at the end of this product development process uh, the product is launched in market so the actual life of that product is start and that is the product life cycles you have to learn in this particular chapters and also you have to learn the reverse engineering reverse engineering means what you have to create uh, your virtual models from the physical model that is nothing but the reverse engineering so here uh, you see the product development process and at the end of your product development process your uh, product is launched in market so next is the product life cycle so here you can see that here the initial is the product development stage here in this product development cycles you see that the two cows so that is a uh, green cow shows the sell of that particular products and the uh, pink cow shows the uh, profit of that particular products so in initial uh, stage there are uh, product is under development so there are no selling so your profit is minus in minus and uh, at the introductory stage your product is uh, introduced in the market in the end uh, your product is uh, start uh, selling from zero to uh, growing stage so the product is starting uh, the product selling is starting and still your profit is negative and at the end of this uh, stage you will get the uh, break even point break even point means uh, no profit no loss stage and uh, then followed by the growth stage here your sales and profit both are increased 
and uh, followed by the maturity stage. In this stage also in market competitor is available. So your product profit clearly increases and uh, also the selling is increased. And then last is the decline stage. So content of second chapter is uh, product uh, planning and customer need. So in this you have to product planning, you have to identify the allocate resources, which resources you have to use, allocate these resources and uh, the scheduling of pullings for your product. So that you have to learn in this chapter. In, in this chapter. And second thing is uh, you have to learn the customer need. So when you develop any product, you first have to need to uh, identify the customer needs. So you have to learn the types of customer needs uh, and uh, how to gathering the customer needs like uh, for uh, need gathering methods and uh, conducting the interviews or uh, like this like method. This all methods of gathering customer needs you have to learn in these chapters. And uh, if you look at the percentage weightage of this chapter, this is, this is uh, approximate uh, 15%. Third content of uh, our chapter, uh, our product development and entrepreneurship is the product configurations and the design for function. So here uh, in product configurations you have to uh, learn the product and product specifications uh, and also you have to learn the design for functions. So design for function means you have to consider the uh, design for assemblies, design for manufacturing, design for maintenance, for maintenance or uh, design for disassembly. So all these things you have to keep in mind when you develop the, your product. So uh, here I saw the design for manufacturing and assembly process and here DFM is the design for assemblies. And when you develop your product, you have to consider the assembly base of point like uh, you have to minimize the parts of your products, you have to optimize your parts of product so then uh, assembly can be uh, optimized. So all these things you have to consider in your minds. Also you have to consider the manufacturing point of view when you develop the, your products. So that is design for manufacturing and for that you have to keep in mind the, what is the best process for your product, which are the best materials for your product, you have to select the best material for your products, you have to optimize uh, the process of the particular product. So these all things you have to learn in these particular chapters. <coughs> Here I uh, just mentioned some of the points when you uh, go for the design for manufacturing and design for assemblies. So here the points is the reduced total number of parts, use the standard components uh, and uh, your uh, design or your product can be easily fabricated, uh, avoid separate fasteners. So whenever there are no need to uh, separate fasteners, you can also use the feed. Uh, so your assembly can easily uh, um, assemble and also you have to minimize the assembly directions and handling uh, is minimized. <coughs> Next chapter is uh, product architectures and virtual product uh, prototypings. So in these chapters you have to learn the different types of product architectures and also you have to do learn the virtual realities. Nowadays you see uh, anywhere uh, there are uh, increasing the virtual realities. So in our applications or in our uh, engineering field there are also uh, increasing uh, the use of virtual uh, realities. So, for example, you create the 3D models in SOLIDWORKS or 3 or 10. It is nothing but the virtual prototypings and you have to also learn in this chapter that is designed using the virtual prototypings. <coughs> so this virtual prototyping is uh, used to analyze uh, products and uh, if your product is uh, okay then it is go for the actual productions. Also you have to learn the applications of digital tools so which are the digital tools is used that uh, can see or FEM that you have to learn in these chapters. 
and also uh, there are last topic is additive manufacturing so additive manufacturing is like the rapid prototyping sir in this uh, step by step layer of your products cross section is manufactured and this prototype is used to analyze your product so this all things you have to learn in this chapter and approximate weightage of this chapter is 18% so now next content is the entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship is starting your own business so in this chapter you will have to learn the concept of entrepreneurship the knowledge and skills required for the entrepreneurship also you have to learn the entrepreneur entrepreneur is uh, uh, who is starting the business or starting the new uh, project that is uh, the person is known as the entrepreneur so you have to learn the characteristics of successful entrepreneurs or also you have to uh, learn in this chapter which are the factors uh, emerging of entrepreneurship so uh, uh, approximate percentage of this chapter is 13% now next content is the starting the venture so venture it is the starting of new project and uh, this new project has uh, more than the years because uh, there you don't know how the uh, whether it is uh, successful or not as so the, the starting of venture has a high risk and in this chapter you have to also learn the analysis of competitors and industries because when you start the new ventures you first uh, analyze your competitor regarding your products and also you have to review the industries based on your products and also you have to learn in this chapter the drawing business plans preparing the project reports and uh, presenting the business plan to invent uh, investor so you have to also uh, learn the how to prepare how to present in the your business plan to the investor so more investors can uh, invest the money in your project or in your enterprise or venture so uh next content of product development and entrepreneurship is uh, functional plan in this uh, uh, chapter you have to learn the three different plans like marketing plan organizational plan and financial plan this all these uh, three plans you have to learn in this chapter and it is very important for the starting of new ventures so marketing plans uh, you have to run the marketing research for the new ventures so and uh, which are the steps in preparing the marketing uh, plan that you have to learn in this chapter in this particular plan next is the organizational plan uh, so in this plan uh, you have to form uh, run form of our own shape or designing the organizing structure this all things you have to learn so in this chapter uh, and financial plan there you have to learn the case for the case for the working capital how much the working capital and uh, what is the break even analysis you have to learn in uh, this particular financial plan so break even analysis is uh, used to identify how Uh, the break even point so after how much times you get the break even point that is the uh, no profit no loss points and uh, uh, the approximate percentage of this chapter is 13% the next content of this chapter and uh, last chapter of this particular project product development and entrepreneurship uh, there are the issue related to the product development and entrepreneurship so in this chapters you have to learn the patent the uh, trademark and copyrights all these things you have to learn and approximate percentage of this chapter is 10% so here you will see that uh, everywhere there are copyrights so this uh, means what the content of this uh, is reserved and uh, you cannot use that content without the permission of licensing of this particular product so copyright is the uh, reserved rights and uh, you also see uh, any software or any video, sometimes uh, some videos or uh, any pictures have a copyright so we cannot use that particular product or contents 
Also, third point, uh, you can see that uh, third point is what? It is nothing but the symbolic symbol or uh, sentence or combinations of this word. This is known as the third mark. And uh, uh, you can see that uh, each and every company has their third mark. So, third mark is uh, identifying the source of that particular products. And uh, uh, you can uh, learn also the franchise. So, every approximate percentage of this chapter is uh, 10%. The books used for the this product development and entrepreneurship is uh, uh, so many here. And in product development, there are two books, and entrepreneurship, there are some books I mentioned here. Uh, so, in these lectures, we learn the brief introductions regarding the product development and entrepreneurship. And uh, next lectures, we will start our uh, chapter content product development. Thank you.